Hello, this is Nick St. Aaron, and I'd like to show you some of the chess sets I've collected over the years. I've always enjoyed playing chess. It's been a game that I've played since uh, as long as I can remember from a little kid. And uh, recently I had the opportunity to put my chess sets on display in a cabinet in the, my library. So I'm going to go through a little video here showing all the different sets. This first set is from Acapulco, and my parents brought this back in 1972 for their 30th wedding anniversary for me. So it was the first big chess set I owned, and I played with this a lot uh, when I was growing up. This next chess set Judy bought for me in Greece in 2010 when we went there while I was speaking at a conference. The next chess set is one of my favorites because it's my travel chess set that I bought to take on airplanes with me so I could play chess uh, using my phone or a book on an airplane. It has, it's magnetic so the pieces stay on the board. This one is made out of water buffalo horn and is made in the Philippines. I bought this locally here in Phoenix but it belonged to somebody who had brought it over from the Philippines. Uh, it actually belonged to his grandfather, and then he sold this set to me. So it's a dark horn and light-colored buffalo horn. This set was made in El Salvador, and it represents the Mayans versus the conquistadors for the pieces. It has a beautiful chessboard. The next set came from Istanbul, Turkey in 2016, and it has a beautifully inlaid board. And it came with just wooden pieces, but I bought an extra set of chessmen that included the Crusaders versus the Turkish Ottomans for the chess pieces. This set is an interesting one from Sri Lanka, which is an island off the coast of India, and it has the elephants for rooks, which was the original Indian chess pieces had elephants for rooks. But the pawns are cobras, and this is a video of the cobras that I saw while in Sri Lanka. This set comes from Mazatlan, and it, in, it represents the Olmec heads as the pawns, and then some of the other Olmec and Mayan pieces for the other players, the other chessmen. Here is a Lord of the Rings chess set from 2002 that has the silver pieces with Gandalf and Galadriel as the king and queen and Samwise Ganji as the pawns and then for the gold set it has Saruman and then orcs and trolls and goblins for all of their pieces. This chess set came from Bangkok, Thailand in 2018.
Notice the little pointy tips on the king, queen, and bishops, which is very representative of Thailand to me. I found this set at an antique shop or a secondhand shop in Silverton, Colorado last summer. And it's a beautiful set of just regular Staunton pieces. Came with a little box and they're nice looking standard pieces. The next set came from Romania and I bought this in 2017, but the merchant I purchased it from thought that it was made probably in the 1970s. So that would have been during the communist era in Romania. And the pieces have the typical communist design, so there's no cross on the king's crown and there's no uh, cut in the bishop's top to make it look like a mitre. So no re religious representation. And each piece is a little different. So here's the queens, and you'll notice one has five little cuts and the other has four little cuts, but it's a pretty set. This is a folding travel chess set, but it's made to look like a book. So if you have it on your shelf with the title showing, it looks like a book on the shelf, but then it opens up into a metal chess board and each of the pieces are magnetic. So it's a nice little, uh, probably an antique set, although the pieces are made out of plastic. This magnetic chess set is actually the oldest chess set I own. M my brother had it in the 1960s, and I remember we would play chess on this while we were traveling on vacation in the car. Uh, so I don't know exactly where it came from originally, but it's been around since the 60s. And the other magnetic chess set is a folding board. I bought this one, I think, when I was in high school. And uh, I used this to play with Flip Nert in his swimming pool underwater. We had our snorkels on and we sat in the pool when it was a hot uh, summer day back in Wichita, Kansas. And uh, so we sat on the pool with our snorkels under the water and played chess. This is a pretty standard chess set here and it came with a board that I purchased when I still lived in Las Vegas to travel with, uh, but it was a little bulky for travel, but the pieces all fit inside of the board with a little elastic band on underneath the board, but the board itself didn't fold. So it's a nice basic chess set, but my other chess set was better for a travel set. This is a Civil War set. So it has the Union versus the Confederate soldiers with Abraham Lincoln as president for the blue. Here are some boards that go with some of those other sets. My favorite chess set is this ceramic set, which I bought in 1994 in Las Vegas, and it was all white, just white ceramic pieces. And I finally got around to hand painting the pieces in 2001. So I painted one side uh, blue and lavender with the black hair and beard. And then the other side, I painted red and green with gray hair. And this is my Staunton chess set that has a fleur-de-lis on the crown. It's a really beautiful set and I like this one because the rooks are very tall. So that shows the power of the rooks. They're as tall as the knights and the bishops. And then the king has the fleur-de-lis on it. It's made out of rosewood and boxwood. And here's a a tournament chess set, so it has heavily weighted tall plastic pieces with a roll up plastic vinyl mat and the chess clock. And this is a nice set, it's good for playing in tournaments, uh, pieces are well balanced, and uh, it's a uh, big size, so it's easy to play with and easy to see the board. So, this is a good set to play with while traveling. Here's a gift set I got for Christmas that has a chess board and a box and inside it has backgammon and dominoes and cribbage and dice and of course the chess pieces. So it's a pretty standard chess set, nice little set. 
This is a book, How to Play Winning Chess, and it came with a kit with a chess board as well. It's a folding board. The pieces are small. They're not magnetic, though, so it's not ideal for travel. Here's another folding set I've had for quite some time. It is a metal board with magnets in the pieces, so this does work for travel, and it has a backgammon board on the other side. This is a cool set. It's made out of leather. It rolls up, so when you unsnap it and unroll it, you have a leather chessboard. The pieces are discs, red and black. The red ones have gold marks on them that are embossed into the leather. The black ones have silver uh, markings to show the pieces. It is a really nice, pretty piece, and it's great for travel because it's very lightweight. This is a solitaire chess game I got for Christmas for my kids. It has positions that you set up on in the book, and then you solve the problem by moving the pieces. So it's really a, to test your skill, and it's a fun little game. This is a package from a Raisin Bran cereal box from when I was a kid, so probably back in the 70s. If you cut out the box, it had the instructions on how to play chess on the inside, it had the board on the outside, and it had these little folding pieces that you put together, little paper pieces to make the chess pieces on it. And then this jumbo set I saw in 2010 at a antique store. These pieces are huge. The king is 10 inches long, 10 inches high. The board is 28 inches square. So this is a great chess set if you're wanting to easily visualize the board. The, it has a big box that folds and it makes a great chess set to play with. This is my dog, McLeod. This photo was taken in 1967 with me and McLeod playing chess. Unfortunately, he beat me, but it was a good learning lesson for me and I've really enjoyed chess ever since. Thank you for watching.